What's up everybody? Doing some more work to the Land Cruiser today. And in this video we are going to be tackling the serpentine belt. Seems like a fairly straightforward thing to do. What's interesting is that I recently got the timing belt done. I don't know why they just didn't do the serpentine belt. No one paid for it. But you have to take the serpentine belt off to get to the timing belt. They didn't look at it and be like, dude, this needs to be replaced. This definitely needs to be replaced. Once I get it out, I'll show you guys the cracks in it. Uh, but yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to take off this intake right here to give us a little more space and I think we should be able to wiggle it out of there just by removing just this alone. Uh, right there is the pulley tensioner. So you're gonna wanna use a 16 millimeter socket. Hopefully you have one longer than this because this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Uh, but you need to turn it uh, counterclockwise to loosen it, just enough to break the tension and pull that belt off. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, get into it. It's hot as hell out here, man. And that's it, once you get it off enough, just enough to get one side, then you're good to go the rest of the time. You don't have to keep holding the socket on there. So now it's time to uh, wiggle this thing out like a maze. And there is the old belt. As you can see, all those little cracks. So yeah, that belt is uh, trash. All right guys, so here is the new belt. And this is the part number if you wanna write it down. I will also put it in the description of the video. Uh, but yeah, I got it on uh, Amazon. It's official Toyota part, so it is legit. You know, it came from Amazon. Now, if you're worried about, oh crap, I took the old belt out. I don't know how to, the new belt goes in. Well, don't, don't worry, because hopefully your Land Cruiser still has this to show you how to do it because otherwise I'd probably be lost too and yeah that would that would that would suck. I also want to shout out Olight. They're not sponsoring me or anything, but their lights are clutch. So just a little bit of common sense. You need to take these stickers off. That was a pain in the ass. But I got it. It's in there, guys. The new belt is in there. To help you out, I'm sure people who do this all the time already knew this, but I kept trying to get, let's just, let's go here because you can't see anything. So basically, I kept trying to get the very bottom one over here kept trying to like pull the pulley and push that one down and I was not getting it. And then I would try to do this one actually where the pulley is and this one kept popping off. So finally I was able to get these in really good and the thing you need to do is is pull it as snug as you can, make sure everything's on track so that way there's no, there's not already too much tension on the belt making it more difficult. What I ended up doing was taking this, putting it on the pulley and then putting the belt over top of the socket. So that way, when I pulled it, I took my other hand and slid slid the belt on there. It's easier because it's, it's a slick surface, not a groove surface for the pulley, which you can't really see in there, but believe me, it's there. So just take note, when you put it all together, to put it all back on there, Put the belt over the socket, over the wrench, crank the wrench, slide the belt over, and you will be done. Well guys, I'm gonna put everything back together, and that's it, so. 
you guys have any questions at all whatsoever about the whole process, please leave them down below. Please leave them down below in the comments section. I'm exhausted at me. I probably need to drink more water. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.